Okay, you've survived 3119, so now it's time for 3451. And our first experiment is the resonant tube. It's actually very similar to the experiment that you did in 3119, the waves on a string experiment. The difference is that instead of looking at transverse waves on a string, you're going to look at longitudinal waves in air. Uh, but you say to yourself, okay, well, how are we going to see waves in air if it's invisible? And the answer is that you put some kind of light particles in the air that will agitate with the sound waves, and in this case, it's cork dust. So here's our experiment. We have a resonant tube here. Here's a close-up of the cork dust in the resonant tube. Here's the loudspeaker that will create the sound waves in the resonant tube. Here's the microphone that we'll use to pick up the sound waves in the resonant tube. And here's the microphone power supply and preamp, which has a variable gain setting. And I'm going to set it to minus 20 dB because the sound pressure level in the tube is very high and we don't want to saturate the microphone. We're going to need to measure the ambient air temperature so we can use this little thermometer probe with a digital readout, which we can even put inside the resonant tube. And we also need to record the serial number and the sensitivity from the data sheet from the microphone. So now using a drive voltage of about one volt RMS, we'll vary the frequency starting at 200 hertz and going up. And we'll monitor the waveform on the oscilloscope to make sure that there's no clipping or distortion. And you should see a series of peaks. Here's the first one right at about 266, 265 hertz. So we're on the first mode here. There's a close-up of the resonant tube so you can see the sawdust vibrating better. I'm going to start on the left side, the driver side, and you see that there's no vibration of the sawdust. I'm going to start panning to the right. And here we get to a point where there's a lot of vibration. I'm going to keep going. Now I'm close to the center of the tube. You see that there's no vibration. I'm going to keep going. And here we get to a point where there's a lot of vibration. And then I'm going to go to the end of the tube, the microphone end, and you see that there's no vibration.